I think Germany does an amazing job of living up to the terrible legacy of World War II and I'm going to show you how by telling you about this building, the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church. The church was built at the end of the 1890s. It's a memorial built under the third Kaiser for his grandfather, the first Kaiser. And yes, they are both named Wilhelm. The church obviously did not fare very well during World War II. It was hit by a bomb in 1943 and after the war in the 1950s, there was discussion as to whether or not the remains should be completely destroyed and the people then of West Berlin came out to protest and say, no, we want it to be saved. So an architect named Egon Eiermann was brought in and he came up with a solution. Save the tower that you can see behind me and add modern structures either side. A bell tower and a nave that, to be honest, look like ugly concrete waffles from the outside, but on the inside are really beautiful. These gaps you see in the concrete here are stained glass and on the inside there's this wonderful blue light. So, we can see how Germany starts to deal with this history. Inside of the nave, there is a wooden cross. It's made from the charred remains of beams from the roof of the Coventry Cathedral, a cathedral that was destroyed by uh, the German Air Force in World War II. After World War II, this becomes the British occupied part of Berlin. And so here we have two enemies coming back together, reconciling. Honestly, uh, I'm always so impressed by how uh, Germany builds these monuments, preserves this history, and really they make it accessible.